Hello everybody. <clears throat> My latest, latest eBay find, which uh, I find through while I was skimming through a eBay shop. It was a shop, I think it was called Heli Shop 2015, Heli Shop 2015. And it was described as a nail art engraving kit. And the pictures showed a lady with her fingernails uh, seemingly engraved like that with one of these things and the way you would engrave a um, piece of metal. And I was curious about it because I thought, you know, that doesn't look too far away from a Dremel. No, one of these two hickeys. Um, you know, okay, not as big, but you know, I thought, I'll just give it a try, see if we could do something like a Dremel, if it operates anyway, like a Dremel. And for six, six dollars, no, you can't complain. Um, it's also worth mentioning that Dremel do make a an engraving tool which would be about this size. It's not as part. It's not as uh, powerful as the the actual Dremel multi tool, but it is designed for engraving. So uh, that could have been an alternative use for it. And I came with these uh, two little sort of engraving tools, and they actually feel quite nasty. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus in on that. I don't know if the camera, yeah, there we go. So yeah, they're 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 sort of um possibly diamond coated. No, I wouldn't say they're diamond coated, but come on camera focus. Touch the put the press the focus button. No, it's not a playing game. But yeah, they do feel quite nasty. Um they would actually uh do, do a fair fair bit of damage if you hit your skin and that's not Looking at the pictures of what ladies have done to their nails, all I could think is like, I don't know if I'd actually want to do that to myself. And I, I asked my wife, and she was like, certainly no way. You know, she wouldn't want anything like that near her near her fingernails because it won't slip and you'd rip your skin off. So it's an interesting product. It also come with these um, sanding things, which are again feel just like what you would get in a Dremel kit. Very rough. This is the sort of thing you'd use for scraping paint off metal or rust off metal. It's quite quite heavy duty. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. Let me plug this thing in. Where's the adapter? <clears throat> oh, ah, uh, yes, the adapter came with a continental adapter. That's one of these sideways ones, which are really awkward to work with because you just don't know what way to plug it in. Anyway, here we go. No, oh, it's on. Um, there's a speed adjuster here, which doesn't appear to do anything. It just seems to switch on, and then there is absolutely no variation in speed. So what I'm going to do is put in one of these uh, engraving pieces and just see how good they are. I'm actually not going to go for my nails, because I'm not stupid. I'm actually going to uh, attempt to engrave some metal. Okay, this has proven a bit of a challenge to get in. You know, sometimes with a Dremel, you have to sort of wedge this colour piece apart just to sort of get started. So I think that's maybe what's at issue here. This is not a good start. There we go. So you get this button you press down to lock the spindle. Hmm. Oh, there's somebody at the door. I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back again. I had to go and let my wife in. Um, I made the mistake of leaving the deadlock in the door. Oh, sorry, the key in the deadlock so she couldn't get in. So I have uh, managed to get the bit in and uh, I was gonna, I've already practiced a bit as you can see with this metal tin but uh, just do a, a little bit more just to demonstrate how this all the engraving in this here works. You do need a steady hand. I'll just do a little circle here. Oh, 
Pretty usual. Not bad. Well, not bad for someone who doesn't know how to engrave. Is this engraving though? I always thought engraving was uh, etching deeper lines. Um, but I'm just going to call it engraving anyway. I think it does the job. It's a metal tin. It, uh, it puts, it makes marks in the metal. And if you're a good hand, steady hand, and you knew you were good at art, you could actually go with something quite nice. There you go. So the more I think about it, the more I think that this is actually, um, is actually an engraver. And they just decided to put manicure and pedicure on it and say, well, we can sell this as a, a, a nail art tool. Interestingly enough, I don't know if you can see that. Focus, camera, focus. It's a Nikon, it should be good. There we go. It says there, made in Taiwan. Which, uh, I, this arrived from China, so. I know some people say China and Taiwan are the same place, but uh, from a manufacturing point of view, they are different. But um, what can you do? So anyway, uh, like I say, I think it's I think it is actually an engraving tool, and that's what they just said. Let's, they just decided to put a market it as we re repurpose it as a a beauty product. So I'm just going to take it apart and have a quick nose inside. I'll take all this, these bits off here. Uh, I've already taken a couple of the screws out to speed this process along because I know you don't really want to look at uh, people not having uh, people removing screws. Let's have a nosy. Do I need a screwdriver to flat flathead to surprise that apart? No, I don't. Uh, so I have a standard DC motor. Fairly hefty shaft. Unusual circuit board. Uh, MOSFET, what's that for? Hmm. Possibly for amplifying. Ah, uh, get it, yes. So, anyway, I think this pot's broken. Because I twist it, I can't. It doesn't feel. The resistance doesn't change. You don't get that sort of a telltale resistance you get with a good. with a working potentiometer. But I think what the MOSFET simply doing is uh, is mixing with a nine volt nine volt vol the, the voltage is being split here. So part of the voltage that's nine volts, by the way, is coming in for the MOSFETs, and the the split voltage coming out of this is controlling the the output voltage of the MOSFET. So effectively, the MOSFET is being used to increase the range of the potentiometer. That's what I think is happening. Yeah, that's what's happening. Um. Now that being said, this is a fairly chunky DC motor, and if you wanted, if you wanted to turn this into a very nice item, what you could do is simply remove the circuit board and the potentiometer, take these wires here, connect them directly to the this little sort of three and a half millimeter headphone jack style power port, and um, uh, take take the lead which comes in, which is this, strip out the wires on the inside, and attach them to a regulated power supply if you have one lying around. And then you get a lot more control over the voltage. And you'd be able to take this down very slow or very fast. Um, well, you wouldn't want to take it too fast because you've got overheat and burst. And, and you wouldn't want that. But yeah, like looking at it now, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, this isn't a beauty product. This is this is almost certainly a, an engraver that's been repurposed. Because, like, look at these. These, these, these. these bits here, like, they just don't look like the sort of thing you would get in a beauty salon. Maybe you would. I don't know. I might actually pop into beauty salon tomorrow and say, uh, "Yeah, would you let, would you ever rub one of these on your client's fingernails at high speed?" So I'm looking at that. Like, if you actually had that going around on your fingernail, and you let it sit there for too long, it might actually go through the fingernail and into your into your uh, flesh. And I can see how that piece there could ever be used for uh, beauty. I just can't. So anyway. Uh, so my verdict on it is, if you actually want a cheap engraving tool, six dollars, you can't beat it. No, it's it's actually a pretty okay engraving tool, for, especially if you're starting out. Uh, it'd be a good present to give to someone, maybe an art student doing GCSE, or an art student at university. Or one of those people you always see on in tourist spots offering to engrave cheap stainless steel bits of tap. Um, so there you go. The industrial beauty tool. Bye bye.